Good morning everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I got up at dark o'clock this morning and I played in my uh, altered book. And now I'm going to take you through what I have done. I was playing with some uh, water-soluble wax pastels. They're like a water-soluble crayon. And I finished my last two-page spread in my altered book. So I got some focal points and some ephemera and some watercolor crayons and just played this morning. Oh, and some gesso too. So uh, <laughs> let's get to it. See you on the table. All right, gang, it is dark o'clock here in Vallejo, California, but I'm doing the last two page spread in my book. So I wanted to bring you along this morning. So hopefully there's enough light Let's talk about the supplies that we're going to need today. All right, you're going to need your book or a substrate, whatever you're going to be working on. These are background ephemera. These are my focal point uh, focal points here. You will need clear gesso, Mod Podge, white gesso. And somebody asked what kind I'm using. This is just a Liquitex basic gesso. I have found it to be nice and thick. You'll need your brush, a paper towel, a squeegee if you use that. My other squeegee's in the classroom. I'm going to be using water soluble crayons this morning, which are very fun. They're called water soluble wax pastels. I'll put a link to those on. Uh, in the notes from Amazon so you can click on that link and you'll need a magazine page about as big as your substrate or the book that you're going to be working on okay first off what I did was I uh, put a coat of the clear gesso on my two pages it'll take longer to dry on the fabric that's holding the pages together but it feels pretty dry here so I'm going to just uh, choose one of those water-soluble crayons and I'm just going to go in and kind of scribble and then take my brush, oh my brush has been taking a beating lately and then just go in there and have fun smearing it. Isn't that fun? And then with the wet water brush, then I will just smear that around. I'll add another color, which will be fun. And this is just the background of the background, really. I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, I'm bringing a gold in. Just a fun little scribble there. Not very often do I get to do that. The gesso on the uh, pages gives it a bite, so it gives the uh, water soluble wax pastels or whatever they were called <laughs> something to grab onto. These are so fun to play with. That's the beginning. All right, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to bring my background ephemera in and I'm just going to glue it randomly on the two pages and let that dry. I am just randomly gluing some background ephemera. Rule of thumb, if you love it, don't use it on the background because it is going to be lost. I did use my squeegee on these to get them to stay down nice and flat, or flatter, I should say.
And now I'm going to go in with some gesso. Just a light little layer of gesso. leave a little bit of moisture on my brush so that I can move this around. And while that still has some moisture in it, I'm going to come in with that page from that magazine and I'm going to apply some pressure and see if I can get some texture up on this. gorgeous. Save this for something else because this is beautiful as well. Okay, now I need to walk away and let this dry. Then we'll put the focal point on. There are several pieces to my focal point. I have this gorgeous butterfly and her little face. Something for her head and then some ballet shoes that I'm going to put down here. So I'm going to glue her together before I put her on just so that I know that she's constructed correctly. All right, the gesso is fairly dry. Well, it's dry. I'm going to come back in with the yellow um, water-soluble crayon. a little scribble. Once again the gesso will give it a bite to grab onto. Take my poor brush that needs to be cleaned with Citrusol. And just bring that yellow back through. Beautiful, huh? Nice layering. Same thing on this side. Moisture on the brush. focal point put together. There she is. So I'll wait for this page to dry and then I'll put her on and then we will play a little bit more. Okay, I have my focal point glued on. She's gorgeous. I put her a little bit off center because she's got some ballet shoes there and I didn't want those to go into the crease. So... Yeah, she's beautiful. So I put a little blob of uh, white gesso on my workplace, and I'm going to go around the focal point with that, kind of blending it out. This takes a moment, so be patient with yourself. You're just going to go around the whole fo focal point with that gesso finger painting. And what I'm doing here is I'm giving this a bite because I'm going to come in with a water-soluble wax pastel. 
so much easier to say crayon. All right. So just go around your whole focal point with that. So as you can see, it's really blended in. I went around the edge with the gesso as well. So it's very blended in around her. And then I put some around the edge too. So I'm going to let this dry and then I will come back in with a final color. All right, nearly done with this piece. I grabbed a watercolor brush, a little bit finer than what I was working with before. So I want to get a little bit closer to her. And I'm going to go back in with that blue and I'm just going to scribble around her. that gesso. That smaller brush. And I'm just going to work that in and around. Getting close to that focal point. And then just smudge it out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at that. And then remember I put a little bit of gesso around the edge to have a tooth there. So I can put a little bit of color on the edge. And blend that in. Her little ballet shoes. Love that. All right, I'm going to do the rest. All right, I'm going to bring you back in. Just show you the final blending here. Just want to hit that last little bit of gesso there on the edge. Oh, she's pretty fantastic. What do you think? I think yes. Then, um, and then I will bring in my doodle pens and I will play with all of this open space here and doodle in that. All right, these are the last pages in this book. I will make a video and show you the entire book. So, all right, go create, go play, go have fun. Thank you for all your support. Oh, I want to show you something real quick. One of my subscribers, Jan, sent me this. A mailable art. Yay. She had contacted me for a mailable art template, which I will leave the link to that particular video if you're so interested in that. But, uh, Jan got a template and she sent me a little thank you note on this postcard. So that is wonderful. I just want to give you a quick peek. I've been to my meetings. I've doodled. And here is the finished piece. She's pretty gosh darn amazing. 
All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.